Yoo-hoo! Well, hey everybody, and welcome to my newest adventure. This is Dave K here on Mickey's Runaway Railroad today. Opening day of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and I'm excited to check it out here today. Let you know my thoughts, share the attraction with you, and so much more. Let's get to it. And it's about 7.05 a.m. here, so uh, just under an hour until park opening, and it doesn't seem crazy crowded. Obviously, Rise of the Resistance was a lot more crowded, but we'll see what it looks like here today once we get into the park and on the attraction. I've heard good things. So we're making our way into the park now. You can see the crowds here, kind of back to that ticket booth area, and we just heard an announcement about Rise. Okay, so a lot of fun attractions to catch first thing in the morning, but it doesn't seem crazy crowded. It's just uh, a little bit busy here. And here's what those crowds look like firsthand here. You can see a lot of people hanging out, but maybe it's just for Rise. We'll have to see how crowded it gets at Mickey and Minnie's once we get inside. And here you can see the crowds here first thing in the morning for Mickey's and Minnie's. We're making our way past the Hollywood Studios sign now. Who knows? Maybe a lot of people here are here for Rise of the Resistance, but we'll see what Mickey's and Minnie's looks like once we get inside. We are moving. We should be in the park real soon all right and we are in the park i want to say it's maybe around 7 15 so quick moving moving line can't really get a watch on my mickey arms right so we're gonna make our way over to the brand new attraction excited to jump on here today we'll let you know what we think check out this special hollywood studios map here for mickey and minnie's runaway railway really nice gonna look through this one while we're making our way to maybe grab some coffee and wait for the ride. And way up there, we can see that Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway sign illuminated. Excited to check that one out here this morning. Apparently, the line is already started here. Somewhere ahead of us, there's two signs ahead of us. So we'll have to jump in that line here momentarily and see how it goes. Here you can see those signs pointing us towards Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and the merchandise for it. So we're heading down this way now to get in line. Apparently, it goes wraps around this corner here. Wow, quite a trek. But nice to see that it's going to be popular here this morning. Opening day, let's get to it. And the merchandise should be somewhere around here as well. We'll check it out. And here is the line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Heard it was already three hours long here this morning. That's crazy. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make it through this one. Here's that end of line sign right there. Oh my gosh. A uh, 180 minute wait right here. Oh my gosh. We'll see how this one goes. Wraps around by the Hollywood Tower of Terror back here. Jeez. W was not expecting the line to be this long this morning based on the front of the park. Looks kind of crazy back here, 180 minutes. Again, wraps around that Tower of Terror. And it's only like 7.15 a.m., so I wonder how long it's gonna be by opening. So here we are, it's about 7.30, and we're about to make it around this corner. It is right by Tower of Terror here. Get a view of the rest of the park while we're making in this 180 minute line. 7.30. So 30 minutes still opening. We're already out by what looks like about to be rounding that corner towards the attraction itself. So I'm not sure if they're already boarding it. 7.30, it does sound like some people have already been on the ride. So must be boarding already. Here is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. First thing in the morning here, check it out. And we've got the opening day merchandise right here as well. You can see t-shirts, lanyards, We've got the magic bands. Look at those pins on there. Nice to see both the annual pass holder merchandise and the general opening day merchandise, both available here. Very nice to see. Here's those lines kind of zigging and zagging all along the way. That's crazy. So we have switched from being sort of a single file line back there to more of a blob over here. Give you a closer look at what that looks like. We're getting pretty close to the attraction now. So it's nice that they have been boarding it first thing in the morning before the park officially opens. And we'll be making our way on it hopefully really soon. And here is that queue at this point. Again, Again, you can see that kind of blob style right there and the single file line was kind of further back that way so much to see and do want to catch all those pictures but uh, not a whole bunch of time here as we're trying to catch it first thing in the morning so we'll see how it goes so this is really interesting the lines kind of like zig and zag out here we've gone back and forth a few times I must say the lines are moving pretty quick but we're going sort of back and forth several times over to try to get on the attraction here so definitely looking forward to riding it but I don't know how many more twists and turns there will be till we're actually at the front Meanwhile, you can hear people's excitement here. They just got their boarding groups for Rise of the Resistance while we're waiting for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's eight on the button here. It was extremely quiet 
a moment ago, and now you can hear all the hype out there. Lots of people on their phones, kind of trying to figure out where it's at. They'll be on their way. Just look at these crowds out here. This is crazy. You can see lines twisting back and forth in every direction. Wow, it's crazy to see again how they're managing that queue in such a small space here for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I also had the chance to meet Do Josh DiMario, which was fantastic. Amazing that the president of Walt Disney World is here for opening day of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Fantastic to see him. Just adds to the excitement here of opening day. And again, that crowd is so well managed for a, such a long queue to be able to manage it in such a small space. Beautifully done here by Disney, loving it. Still zigging and zagging back here again. Look at these lines. We have turned around several corners, making our way around. It's very smart of them to do it this way, but uh, you know, it makes us think the line was shorter than it was earlier. And now it's starting to feel like maybe it is that long. You never know. All right, we're about an hour in now, and we've made it to a real line about to round this corner, be walking through the Chinese theater here. Excited to step on board Mickey Minis, and again, an hour in when it's set three hours at the front of the queue, so hopefully we'll be on here real quick, a lot faster than three hours. And we have made it here to the front-ish part of the line, maybe zigging and zagging back and forth as we make our way up to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Again, you can see lots of people sort of back and forth on this one. But excited to step aside. I'm hoping the wait isn't too much longer. It's been about an hour and a half so far. We'll see what it's like when we get inside. Back in the Chinese theater now it looks very similar to what we've seen it in the past, but I'm extremely excited for this attraction. It seems like they've kept a lot of that theming from the, what do you call it, like handprints on the concrete out front through the designs again of the theater here as well. But we'll see what that ride looks like once we get there. Here's a closer look at the Chinese theater and all of the different accompaniments and accoutrements that go with it. You'll see some different signage here. A look at Mumbai Madness right here. Mickey Mouse and Mumbai Madness and all these different signs along the way. Let's see how this one goes. You can see plenty of queue ahead of us as well. But it shouldn't be too much longer now. Oh, and these change. I didn't realize these kind of cartoon things change here. Three-legged race. I've seen that one too. I love a lot of these Mickey shorts. And these signs that display the Mickey shorts, I've not seen Mumbai Men. But the signs that display Mickey shorts currently roll up like that and change while you're walking by them as well. Nice little details there as we make our way into the attraction. Plenty of signs along the way too. Heading inside now. Looking forward to checking the show out here. Beautiful view so far with that sort of Chinese feel to it. Let's see how this one goes. Heading forward now to the trains through the sort of queue here we just saw the movie from. Nice. Now in the true queue, it seems like after that pre-show, you can hear Goofy talking in the background. Seems like there's a good number of people here, sort of ahead of us after seeing this pre-show. This beautiful kind of run railroad sort of theme. Really cool pre-show. I loved how that kind of train broke through the screen and we walked through that entrance there. I love how they're continuing to do that sort of design after the rise of resistance here. Definitely smart, sort of intuitive way to build us into the world of the animation. Really smoothly done, well done. Let's keep doing that. Love to see right here, in addition to the dog, this railing. Look at how this railing is built. Oh, see, here's a rope one. Right here's a rope one. But on this side, we've got this kind of, it looks like it's kind of bent or curved in here and multiple sort of colored and coloration, but it's completely firm. So it just has that sort of natural bent look to it. Very interesting. Here we go, stepping on board here at Run Amok Park on the Run Amok Railroad. Let's get to it. Right around the pole. 
just got off Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it's an exciting one. It's definitely got some fun twists and turns to it. It's definitely, I feel like it's designed for younger ones, where there's a lot of those twists that are more mild. You know, you'd assume that uh, it's more mild ride, so you can ride on it with your young ones. There are some kind of rocky parts on the ride vehicle, but overall a fun one. Nice to see more into the universe of Mickey and these kind of Mickey shorts, an animated sort of Mickey story there. It does remind me a lot of those Mickey shorts and how they go about telling those stories and what a lot of those episodes look like. I've seen any of those episodes and it reminds me of one of those. Again, not too intensive and those ride vehicles are a lot like a great movie ride or a Rise of Resistance type style ride. I, I do think it's a fun one, but it's not quite as thrilling, obviously, as you'd expect as Rise of Resistance. Still a great one though, lots of fun and glad we had the chance to ride it here today. Making our way out of the attraction now, you can see this the end sign kind of displayed and it looks like this is exactly where we walked in to the attraction, which is very clever. See that screen? It's kind of blown up there. And that walkway, that kind of railing where we walked in. I like it. I don't know if I can say I like this one quite as much as the Great Movie Ride quite yet, just because I feel like that one told a fantastic story. And this one felt quite short to me, but I'm definitely excited to check it out again in the future, give it another go and see what I think. Another note on this one is the vehicle seems to be four deep. It was a little bit tight in there in terms of seating, but I guess that's what you get on opening day. And right outside the Chinese theater by the exit here, we've got some merch from the attraction. Some Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway merch, including a couple of these ears here. You'll see some ears. Of course, we've got a lot of t-shirts and other stuff. Doesn't seem like that pass holder exclusive merch we saw on that paper earlier. I'm sure there's another shot for that, but nice to see this merch here as well. Look at how much shorter the line got here. No more wrapping around this main entrance area. I wonder how long the line is now. Maybe it's like an hour or so because this whole area used to be so packed with people who go back and forth all the way down that way, huh? It shrunk a lot in the last couple hours. And it was a two hour wait on this one. That line up front that when we were getting in line said 180 minutes, which would be three hours. Only took us two, which is nice. And by the time we got to the front of the queue, it said 300 minutes on the billboard, which is crazy. But it definitely didn't seem to take that long. Lines move extremely quickly. So they've done a great job sort of turning people around, making sure those vehicles get filled here. But uh, nice to get a chance to get on the ride. 300 minutes was not, it didn't seem like that was the case at least. It only took me two hours when it said three, so nice to get a chance to ride it. So I'm definitely looking forward to jumping back on this one in the future, but so far for me, I wanna give it like a, a, maybe a seven, something along those lines. Again, definitely a great one for kids and for families if you're looking for a more mild attraction. Now, we've got a pass for Rise of Resistance. So we're gonna catch Rise of Resistance real quick here. Perfect timing and that'll be a great way to continue our morning here today. So would I normally wake up at 6 a.m. for opening day of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? If I weren't, or if I had to do it again, and they kept it at 6 a.m. for when you could catch the attraction kind of like Rise, I would not, I would not do it. <laughs> I wouldn't wake up that early. Although I don't even do that for Rise if you think about it, so eh. But uh, for opening day, it was nice to catch this one, but I'm not sure I, I would necessarily do this one even again on opening day. It's nice to be here and experience it on opening day, but it's quite early and I wasn't blown away. That being said, it was a good ride. Again, I think it's a good family ride and it's a great attraction. I had the, I'm glad I had the chance to go on it. I'll definitely be riding it again in the future, just not first thing in the morning. And now back at Rise of Resistance again, perfect timing to be glad to be stepping on board right after catching Mickey's and Minnie's. Our timing worked out perfectly. It moved so fast today, the boarding groups. I was shocked by how quick the boarding groups moved this morning too. They're just rushing through those numbers. I was worried initially in terms of being able to even catch this one, but they've been rushing through the boarding groups here, able to catch it right after Mickey's and Minnie's. Perfect timing. Glad to get a chance to catch this one here this morning. Always loved it. One of the best attractions, the best attraction at Disney right now. Back in the briefing room now for Rise of Resistance and a great viewing spot here. I feel like sort of centered and further to the back. Nice to see BB-8 here. Looking forward to going on another magical adventure. First time for a front row view for me here in the Rise of Resistance take off with the rebels here. Well, let's see how it goes. Engage repulses and hold on recruits. I am Lieutenant Beck. Star Destroyers. I have a bad feeling about this. This pathetic ship is no longer under your command. Disembark at once and prepare for interrogation. Awesome to check out the front row view here. You can feel that turbulence a lot more and it tells a great story. You can see out that window and see the action taking place now in the Empire First Order base. A closer look at those ride vehicles as well. Never taking the time. You always see these droids standing back here. Not these droids, but you know, the, the bad guys. But you never notice the ride vehicle over there. Nice to see as well. 
I always love the details that go into this one. You can see around us this queue here makes you feel like you're truly on a first order vessel with just like the sort of natural construction and kind of how the building has been built here around us. About to make it to that hallway where we board the ride. Trying a new route. I haven't been here on the Silver Line. Let's see how this one goes. So the door is open now. We're just waiting for our guy to send us in there. But excited to try the new route. Let's see how Silver goes. Blowing right into the cell. As there are 16 of you told. A closer look at that door that we exit through here. If you want those spoilers, you can see it looks very even on this side. A little less so on the other side. Now stepping on our vehicle, let's do it. So the second vehicle here again, look at that door where we broke out of. And you can see that one vehicle in front of us because we're vehicle number two. Let's see how this one goes. Here we go. No evidence. Now. A different angle here. Oh my God. There's no escape. In the resistance. Woo! Just got off Rise of the Resistance for that third time. The first time on the back vehicle, the front vehicle. There were a lot of things I really liked about this one, actually. I feel like you got a whole new perspective on a couple different scenes. Kylo Ren pulling you towards him before he flies out that window and some other scenes like that. I feel like we're even sort of better done in terms of details on this one. I do like being shot at by those AT-ATs instead of by the Stormtrooper in the vehicle. But again, some details I wasn't able to really fully appreciate in the past. Fantastic ride, even better. Just constantly getting better on this one. I'm not sure if it was because we were on the other ride vehicle for those details, if I just wasn't looking before, or maybe it's just because it was too early in the morning. And now I've ridden it, you know, kind of later in the day, so I'm comfortable. But really, really great one. Glad we had a chance to catch it. Another detail I noticed on this one, which I hadn't seen in the past, is after you get shot at, not by the AT-AT, -AT, by the Stormtrooper, you go into this room with like some electrical surges and some power outage, where he says, this doesn't look good, let's go somewhere else. I don't think you get that with the AT-AT. -AT. So again, a new scene, which I hadn't gotten to see before, and it was new perspectives. For example, when Kylo Ren's on the bridge with his assistant guy and all that stuff. Love seeing it from different perspectives. Love the ride altogether. Definitely always enjoy a chance to ride it. And that concludes today's adventure. Thanks for being a part of the fun with me. Nice attraction, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's no Rise of the Resistance, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting back on it again in the future. Definitely a family attraction, and I'm envisioning that queues should be quite short moving forward, especially since we saw that queue was much shorter throughout the day, and you were able to book fast passes for this one. So overall, it's a good one, but not the most amazing one ever. What do you think of it? Have you had a chance to ride it? And what'd you think of this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and let me know you liked it. And of course, if you haven't already, for more fun adventures, Disney and foodie and more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. So we have, I don't know if I can say I like this one quite as much as Mick as